badly advised, uh, didn't look good on camera. What, what do you want to say in regards to that? I don't, he hasn't been advised. That's the problem. Bad, badly been advised. No, he hasn't been advised. Okay. That's the problem. Because he doesn't want advice, he just wants to speak from the heart and speak with the facts that he has. It's very difficult for a young fighter to go on Piers Morgan and speak you know, in, in the right manner or not to get emotional or whatever. At the end of the day, and I'll always answer questions on it, I'm done talking about it. We've talked about it every day for six months. We're on the verge of announcing Conor Ben's next fight. I can't wait to actually announce his fight so we can talk about that. There's plenty to do in terms of the relationship with the British Boxing Board of Control with Conor Ben. Um, and we hope to be the guy or people in the middle of that to help get through this process. I want Conor Ben to fight in the UK um, and hopefully we can do that. Just in terms of that, Eddie, obviously he said that he won't release his 270 page dossier, which would prove his innocence because of his pride against how he feels he's been treated by the British Boxing Board. So firstly, what was your thoughts on that? And do you feel like he's been wrongly treated by the British Boxing Board? Um, the... I think that the main reason he can't share the document is because of the legal case that's about to take place. But also it is down to his ego and his pride. And I think we've got to stop that. The board are also acting out of ego and have acted, in my opinion, um, clearly wrong across many different cases. But so have a lot of people, us included. I think when we got the decision from the board, I think we lost our head for 24 hours and I was pissed off and I was, you know, and but ultimately we all made the right decision in the end. Um, Sorry, I'm just going to send this message. So I think that um, my next focus is to announce his next fight. And then also my focus is to sit down with the British Boxing Board of Control and saying, grow up, grow up, let's look at this information and let's make sure Conor Ben can fight in the UK. Eddie, you know what you're saying, his next fight, um, Conor came out and said he wants the best available opponent. Is Manny Pacquiao, 44 years old, the next best opponent he could face? I think it's a huge fight, it's a huge name. Manny Pacquiao wants to fight Conor Ben. We've had a number of approaches from sites to stage that fight. Um, he's one of three names that Conor Ben will fight next. I can't tell you if it'll happen. We're getting chased by Manny Pacquiao's team to make it happen. There is a chance. How realistic that it could be Abu Dhabi when it happens? Yeah, that's one of the places we're looking at, but we've had multiple offers for that fight to take place. Eddie, speaking of fight announcements, look, I'm always beginning you. Katie Taylor, are, yeah. we, are we soon to an announcement, yeah? You know, look, Katie Taylor, that's the first time I've ever seen her call out an opponent. And a lot of people in boxing have always said, oh, she won't fight Chantel Cameron. That's a tough fight for her. She called her out. Yeah. Chantel's desperate for that fight. Katie's desperate for the homecoming on May the 20th. Free arena. We have to negotiate with both teams, which we're doing at the moment. The reality is when two people want a fight, gem generally it happens. And I'm confident that hopefully on the broadcast on Saturday, we can give you the announcement for that fight. Yeah, Eddie, 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 just... He's made it quite clear that he's not using the consumption of eggs as the mm -hmm. reason for the field test. Instead, he's sort of hitting that the contamination happened whilst with VADA. Is it really likely that four tests, the A and B sample for both field tests, were contaminated by something you describe as the gold standard in drug testing? Uh, especially when they won't let the scientist in for the B sample procedure. Absolutely. Why wouldn't you? That's a clear flaw in the rules. Um, there's stuff, you know, other stuff we talk about. The sample was tested four times, three times it was negative. Nine days later, it was tested again. There's so many things in the report that make absolutely no sense. And I'm, you know, Connor's not saying that something corrupt has happened here. But when you read it, and I wish he would get his point across a bit better, like he should have. He, he, he mentioned it on Piers Morgan, but this is not a spokesman. This is not a politician. This is not a lawyer. This is a young fighter that's in front of these lights, you know. But ultimately, the report is is. I think it's damning and we look forward to it getting out there but eggs is what the WBC scientists and we know we've looked there's, there's, there's Connor's team have looked into this there are multiple reports of contamination through eggs for clomiphene traces but that's not what the basis of his argument was about at all so, and yet still people think that was his excuse which is very frustrating you said you want Connor to fight again in the UK he says he's got no intention of mm. doing that anytime soon you've admitted it's not going to happen for his next fight but you do want it in the future are you going to reconcile that with Connor? Do you, you can bring him round to fight into the UK and apply him for a British licence yeah, again I, I want him to fight uh, in Britain so I need to sit down with him get this fight out of the way and I need to say look we need to go through this with the board he's suing the board so ultimately at the moment they're, you know, they're miles apart but the board have got a big ego on it Connor Ben's got a big ego on it. We need someone to get in the middle and go, guys, let's go through this. Let's get the, you comfortable with what's happened. I've got some questions as well. Why did you take five weeks to cancel the fight when you, you had the test results exactly the same time as us? Why did you allow us to proceed with the fight, spend a million pounds in costs, 
and then decide to pull the fight three days before? Why didn't you give him a hearing? I mean, there's so many different things. But listen, I just want to move on, and that's why I can't wait to announce it. Tomorrow. Just one more in terms of that, Eddie. Um, obviously, he said uh, to Piers Morgan the Clover theme was never in his system, and he, he did dispute WBC's like egg consumption mm -hmm. theory. But then after that, he, he then said, I am cleared by the WBC. So kind of he's sticking by the WBC but then he's not as well he's sticking by the facts he's cleared by the WBC that's fact he doesn't have to agree with their document with, with the their summary but he has been cleared by the WBC the people that oversee that testing process have cleared Conor Ben time to fight thanks guys